Hey y'all, N4H and H here with the Yaesu FTX1. I'm setting it up in N3FJP, my logging software, so that I can uh, automatically log, of course, time, date, frequency, mode. So I'll show you the settings. It varies slightly from my FTDX10 stop bit one instead of stop bit two. That's what's in the menu. If you go to operation setting here, let me get that to focus. All right, operation setting, general. You'll see right here, cat one to cat three, stop bit one, that's the default. You can change it to two, but I just went ahead and did it up here in the software. And then I'll also change the COM port assignment. Now what I did was, I'll show you, I go to just go to control panel in the computer. There it is. Device manager, ports, and let me move that over so you can see. See COM5, COM5, so look at there. COM5 is the CP, Silicon Labs dual. Don't worry about these other two, another radio. Uh, this one here, Silicon Labs Dual CP 210X USB to UART Bridge Enhanced Port, COM5. So I just went ahead and I wanted to make sure what COM port was the enhanced port, because that's what you have to use. And by the way, you do need to download these drivers from Yesu, not from uh, Silicon Labs. A lot of people have trouble because they don't do that. All right, so I just wanted to make sure I knew which port was the enhanced port and so I set that over here COM5 then I click test and you'll see that it's detecting that I'm on 7.150 7.150 and you of course you know in the test whatever but 7.150 now I'm going to save these settings Click Save Settings. It says Yesu Newer 2. Okay, and I'm going to change that to Yesu. Well, I'll just pick FTDX10 up there, and then all I got to do is change that to FT. You can see what I'm doing there to FTX 1 and delete the rest of that. So the next time I'm going to switch to that radio, I just load these settings. So save. So, you know, for example, when I want to switch back to the Kenwood or one of the other Yesus, I'll just do a load settings. There's the Kenwood TS-890, FTDX-10, FTDX-5000, and see now there's the FTX-1. All right, so that should be all set. Let's see, I'm going to rotate the dial here and change frequency, and you'll notice... N3FJP is tracking. All right, so I hope you found the video helpful and informative. This uh, series is being shot for the S9 VIP Patreon members. They support my channel financially. Otherwise, I couldn't continue this. And I have to say that 98% of the funding to help pay the expenses to do this comes from the Patreon team and predominantly from S9 members and especially the S9 members who subscribe annually. They're the reason I've been around for five years and almost, uh, well, I'm approaching 900 videos. There are tutorial series available for them that are not public. It's only fair since they're funding 98% of this. If you would like to join that Patreon team, just stand by for uh, 42 seconds or so. I'm going to acknowledge five of the Patreon team members I call long haulers. These are people who have supported the channel for years and uh, made this video possible along with the other nearly 900 at this point, I think. So stand by and I want to acknowledge five of them and you will also see the address for how to join Patreon, my Patreon, yourself and help support more content like this. And of course, you'll get access to this series if you join as an S9 or an annual S9. Annual S9 has some other perks. You can ask me questions. 
You can schedule a Zoom call. You have access to my menu optimizations guides, FT8 guides. You can participate in our periodic Zoom meetings that are live. We do some Elmering sessions, things like that. Hope you'll take advantage of that. I'm trying to share as much as I can with the amateur community based upon my years of experience in amateur radio now going into my 43rd year. I'm, I'm at 43 now. 73 from N4 H&H.